Welcome back gamers, this is Windermute here from uh, Grind This Game. So this is part two of the series for Bit City. In the last part, part one, uh, I got to level six, but it was going really, really slowly, so I did a prestige, which uh, allows you to start from the beginning, but with a higher earning bonus. So here I am at level six again, um, just kind of going through the motions, upgrading buildings, doing my upgrades. And there's a lot of lots in level 6, but I I did manage to eventually get through it. It did take some time. It was pretty much the same as level 5. There's just more large lots, more small lots. Uh, a few extra... A, a new set of upgrades. So there's four new upgrades that open up at level 6. Uh, I had to basically leave the game overnight for a couple of days because it was just taking so long uh, to get enough money to build up. I guess I could have played more actively and did all the car bonuses but it still would have taken a lot of game time so I just kind of let it sit overnight. Not running but I'd go to, go to it the next day. Do the doubler video because you can get double the amount of money you saved overnight. You definitely want to upgrade your bank as much as you can because overnight, if you leave it overnight, you're going to come back to much more money in the morning. So, as you'll see, I'll skip ahead here. So I did all the, as, as many car upgrades as I could within reason. All the bank upgrades, all the regular upgrades. And then, as you see, I'll skip ahead here. And level, so I'm ready for level 7 at this point. So River Ridge. So same sort of thing, just more lots, a bigger map. And uh, as you'll see. I guess the only new thing other than being much larger and more lots is another new tier of upgrades that you can do. I'll kind of blast through coming up here. So I usually try to unlock the cars first, all the cheap ones, and then because then you can start getting coin bonuses right away. And then I usually build a few lots, and then I usually do the cheap bank upgrades. And then I go on and do maybe buy one of the cheap boats and one of the cheap planes. And then I try to get the two upgrades per tier that kind of will generate the most money and then go on to the money making tier um, upgrades in the next tier and then I always go back once I have lots of money and kind of fill in all the all the extra upgrades the equipment upgrade one that I'm just doing here is really good because it speeds up construction and then you should do services grant housing tax And I think I said in the last video that doing the large lots first made the most sense. But I'm kind of doing a mix of both because um, if you do a bunch of small lots, you can you can kind of upgrade them really quickly, and they'll be earning money for you, uh, kind of really 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 well basically. Whereas the large lots take a long time to upgrade. So I kind of do a mix of both now. I think that's working the best. Here I'm just kind of going through the upgrades. And then I usually hit builder bots, at least one builder bot. And then business tax and land use tax are the kind of the best in this tier. I'm trying to max those out. Because those are going to generate uh, more more earnings for you, which you can kind of plow back into investing in lots and investing in upgrades. The land use tax is a really good one. It'll really boost your earnings if you if you've got a decent amount of large lots. So 
So just like I did in level 6, I had to leave the game, um, let it earn some money overnight, and then I think I, I think it took like 5 or 6 nights plus some active play during the day to finally fill out level 7 and get on to level 8. And I'll, uh, I'll do a video about level 8 in, in the next part, next series. Because it took a while. And then probably in the level 8 one I'll also show the the lunar upgrade. So the game plays from level 1 to 8. And then it kind of restarts with 8 more levels on the moon. And it's like the first moon city is very similar to the first city. Except the upgrades are super expensive. So I ended up doing a prestige on the second lunar base just because things were going to be super expensive and take forever. Okay, so here I've skipped ahead. This is probably four or five days of accumulations. So every lot's filled out. And I'm just kind of trying to upgrade as much as I can and then do the try to get the max uh, bank upgrades. Because your back bank upgrades carry over into the next level. So you want to upgrade your bank as much as you can within reason. That'll help you out in the next level. So I want to actually, I've got everything ready to go here, but I won't actually upgrade until the next video. Just wanted to show it completely filled up here. All the things. So that's it for this short video. Um, in the next video, I'll do uh, do level eight and probably the first two moon bases. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as usual, thanks for watching.